Let's just call it like it is. 2020 has been one of the darkest years in memory. So is it any coincidence that we've seen a profusion of colorful dials and colored watches in general? But when it comes to exuberant dials with colors that cheer your day, few brands can hold a colored candle, no matter how bright, to Doxa. Since the 60s, while the rest of the Swiss watchmakers were making banal monochromatic timepieces, Doxa was pioneering the notion of a vivid, playful wristwatch with a bright orange dial. This early adaptation of flamboyantly coloured dials has stood the test of time, and now Doxa is unveiling an entirely new watch with this face to the world, the Sub 200 Seagraph, in no less than six diverse dial colours. Based off the GPHG nominated Sub 200, which was unveiled at what was most likely the last Basel World we'll be seeing for some time in that format, this new chronograph takes all the things we love about the standard 200 and turns the dial up to 11. The stainless steel case, which is still water resistant to 200 meters, now measures in at a bold 45 millimeters across and 17.4 millimeters thick. Now those with smaller wrists shouldn't be put off by this growth spurt though, because like the standard 200, the Seagraph has shorter lyre style lugs, which means the watch wears a good one to two millimeters smaller. It's also a handsome looking case, very much like the first 200, large and in charge in a good kind of way. It reminds me of the Tag Heuer Ortavia chronograph from a couple of years ago, and it certainly has wrist presence thanks to that heft. There's a fetching blend of polishing and brushwork that's to be expected of a timepiece that needs to bridge the gap between tool and ornament, and Doxa has chosen to fit the Seagraph with diminutive pushes for the chronograph that don't disrupt the shapely lines of the case. It's also impressive to see that the chrono pushes are pump actuated and not screw down items like the crown. Sitting atop the case is a unidirectional ratcheting bezel with a sapphire crystal insert that should prevent any nasty scratches or nicks that a regular aluminium or steel bezel would endure. Likewise, covering the colorful dial is a box style sapphire crystal that's been treated with an AR coating, anti-reflective. So again, scratches won't be an impediment and legibility will always be maintained. The dials of all six variants of the Seagraph are signature Doxa, and that means that, like the rest of their collections, each color gets its own unique name. Aside from the great dial colors though, we really like the way Doxa has designed the layout of this dial. It isn't easy to make subdials look proportionate on a dial, but the three located on the Seagraph look great and just so symmetrical, beautiful to the eye. They also display some very handy information, with the subdial located at 3 o'clock displaying a 30 minute totalizer, the one at 6 o'clock displaying a 12 hour totalizer, and the one at 9 o'clock offering a running seconds display. There's no date complication, which will have at least half of the crowd jumping with joy, and the dial design is all the better for it. Besides, we barely know what day it is at the moment, let alone what the date is, it's 2020. As is the way with all Doxa timepieces, the Seagraph is powered by a third-party sourced Swiss-made automatic movement. Some may turn their noses up at a watch powered by a non-manufacture movement, but with 48 hours of power reserve and low running costs, we reckon it's more than okay, especially given the watch's price, which is coming very soon. The new Seagraph, like the three-handed 200, can be had on either a stainless steel beads of rice style bracelet or a rubber strap in complementing colors. Both options suit the watch very well indeed, and you can tell Doxa hasn't scrimped on quality. Lug width is also a very versatile 20 mil lug to lug. So there are an innumerable amount of aftermarket options for this watch too, which we really like. You can also browse some time and tide straps if you're into that. The Sub 200 Seagraph is another solid offering from Doxa in a year where they've further cemented why they are a serious contender in the Swiss watch market. A diver chrono of this caliber with this much heritage for less than 5,000 Australian dollars is always something to be celebrated. And now to pricing and availability. The Doxa Sub 200 Seagraph on steel is $4,350 and on rubber, 4,290 Australian dollars. Time and Tide is proud to be the official distributor of Doxa in Australia and New Zealand. And if you like the look of this watch, why not head over to our online store where you can pick it up today. Thanks for watching and let us know which color you like best in the comments below. I'm going to put a vote in for the Sea Rambler, the silver. I'll see you there.